something right out of a horror movie. Worse than a horror movie. This is Clinton the- Ellison, his brother Corey, and their father were about to turn in for the night when they heard something outside. It was about 10 o'clock. They went upstairs to go to bed. Me and my brother were upstairs listening to music, talking. We heard a single gunshot and didn't think anything of it. We stepped out front of his house and looked, and we could see a large glow in the sky from a very large fire. That fire, at least one of the five buildings the shooter set ablaze. My brother said he was going to go up and check it out. My father told him not to. My father, my brother said, I'll be right back. I was sitting there with my dad, and we were waiting and waiting and waiting. My brother didn't come back. Finally, finally he phoned. He phoned. And he says, listen, the fire's really bad. I'm taking pictures. Call the fire department. That phone call was the last time Clinton heard his brother's voice. We waited and we waited and we waited. And I walked up the road looking for my brother with a flashlight. My father come with me so far, but he stopped at the end of his driveway and turned around and went back in his house. I walked up looking for my brother with a flashlight. And I could see a body laying on the side of the road. As I got closer, I could see it was my brother. I got one more step closer, I could see blood, and he wasn't moving. I shot my, spot, my, shot my flashlight off, I turned around, and I ran for my life in the dark. Around and looked down towards the road I had just run from to see a little flashlight flashing around looking for me. According to the police timeline, the shooter was still in the area and had already killed many victims. I ran so hard into the woods. I was lucky enough that when I was hiding, I waited about an hour before I could pull my cell phone out because I didn't want it to light up and light and give my position away. And when I thought it was safe, I phoned my dad and I told him, phone the police, phone the police. I think Corey shot and dead. And I said, I said, shut the lights off and hide. And he said, yes, I will. I said, don't, I said, don't call me back. I don't want my phone to light up. And I laid on the ground and I nearly froze to death. I was laying there for hours. All I could hear was explosions from the fires and gunshots coming all from all around me. Yeah. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced in my life. They got me out of there with an armored vehicle. A nightmare through hell. It's a nightmare through hell to walk up and find my brother dead and to be hunted by this fellow that killed all these people. I'll be, I'll be traumatized for the rest of my life. Clinton shared his family's story, but says his thoughts are also with everyone who lost loved ones in this violent attack. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Portapique, Nova Scotia.